Hello everybody, this is Herb from World of Walk coming to you live from Epcot on a Saturday morning, about 80 degrees. I have a fast pass to go check out Test Track. Let's go see what's going on at Epcot. The Epcot International Festival of the Arts is wrapping up in the next couple days. It goes through Monday, actually, and then that will be it. Actually, I also wanted to point out over here the Guardians of the Galaxy construction seems to be coming along very nicely. Show building is mostly covered at this point, although you can see that what appears to be maybe a stairwell is still open, but a lot of great progress at Guardians of the Galaxy. Very excited about that attraction. Hello, good morning to you. Thank you for joining. Welcome to Epcot. Hi, Sue. Michelle from Western New York, hello to you. Hi, Vivian. Corey's here from Indiana, hello. Megan from West Virginia, welcome to the broadcast. Welcome to Epcot. I got an email from the Disney Fast Pass system a little earlier today saying Test Track was down. That's a little bit of a concern since my Fast Pass is with Test Track. But I just checked the My Disney Experience app. It looked like Test Track was up and running, so we will figure out together if Test Track is operational. And if so, I will go on that. And if not, maybe I'll take a little pull. And we'll see where we go instead. Uh, the Fast Pass email at that time said that I could go on some other attractions like Soren, which I can't do a broadcast of, um, or uh, Imagination, which is kind of fun. Could not go on Frozen, unfortunately. So let's check it out. Blake says, thanks for making many of our Saturdays. You are welcome. Thank you for being here. David from Michigan City, hello to you. Corey says, do you think Disney will extend the monorail? He actually listed some specific places. The message went by too fast for me. You know, my guess is at this point, no. A uh, monorail track seems to be very expensive to deploy. Some people say in upwards of $100 million for a mile. Disney might be able to do it cheaper simply because they wouldn't have to deal with a lot of zoning issues. But uh, the idea that the, the Disney Skyliner is on its way makes me think that Disney has sort of moved beyond monorails and instead is going to try out this uh, gondola system which I hope is going to be a great success. I actually have a great picture I'm going to put on Instagram and Facebook later today that shows uh, many different gondolas strung in the connection that leads away from Disney's Hollywood Studios. Uh, so they are well into the testing of that system, at least in certain places. I know there are some stations that are still very much under construction, but there's great progress there. So that's my opinion. Mark, hello to you. Kathy, good morning from New Bedford, Massachusetts. And thank you again for the questions. Comments, I always appreciate them. It's fun to have a little conversation back and forth. I also appreciate all the, the likes and the thumbs ups and the hearts. Don't really care so much for the sad faces, but hey, that's okay too. Eric says, looks like a beautiful day. It is a very nice day. Weather forecast earlier said it was going to be a, kind of a rainy afternoon, but the current forecasts don't call for that. Todd from Iowa, hello. Colleen's putting in a vote for imagination if test track is down. Okay, thank you very much. Bella said, do you miss the old test track? Uh, you know, I think the upgrade to the new one uh, is an improvement. So uh, the, the old test track was fo focused on a story of safety, which is an important story, but I almost feel like the world has moved on from that story where safety is a given. So if you're not making safe vehicles, people just aren't going to buy them. I think the idea of design as a focus for making a purchase uh, or a place where companies spend their time and energy uh, is a more, more current story. And I also think just the design inside Test Track is, is really eye-catching. And it's very bright and neon and uh, exciting. So personally, I like the new addition of Test Track. 
Although I, I would say generally, I often miss a lot of the old stylings of, of the original Epcot. But times change, it's not a museum, it's a theme park. So, good question. That's my two cents. Joe says a rainy day at Disney is better than a day at home or work. I think you are right about that. Stephanie says, awesome doing the videos. Thank you very much. Paula said, good morning from snowy Wisconsin. Snowy again. Trish has got six inches of snow in Colorado. We've got 80 degrees here in Central Florida. You see most folks walking around in shorts. I think our traditional three weeks of winter are behind us now. Uh, over here, window for mouse gear. Disney's coming out with a lot of really fun Mickey Mouse Club merchandise. Um, also, okay, I'm just gonna step in here for a second. This is a complete detour, but we'll do it anyway. This uh, delish light of merchandise, line of merchandise, fun. I think this is really cool. So like different milkshake designs, Here's a popular one, the uh, orange swirl. Check out this plush cone. Got some cupcakes here. Here's some mini cupcakes, which actually are really scented. I can smell them without even getting my nose too close. So that's fun. I think that uh, that's a very fun line of merchandise that Disney has developed. Okay, back out and on our way. Chris from Connecticut, hello to you. Okay, mission space straight ahead. I think it would be fun if I could do a broadcast, but I think just the way the ride vehicle works, it's just not possible. So we're gonna try test track instead, see what happens. So you may have heard the big news about several major changes going on uh, coming to Epcot. So one change is that the entrance plaza is going to get a complete reworking where the current photo tiles are gonna be moved outside of the park and the entrance is gonna have a much greener look. I'm posting some concept art on worldofwalt.com. That article will be live later this morning. So if you haven't heard about that change, please go check that out. Or even if you have, I've got some great information. And I'm also walking over this way because we can see the gold Wonders of Life pavilion just beyond the monorail line. And so that pavilion is gonna be changed to a play area. It seems like details are a little, a little sketchy, um, but I think it's gonna be an interactive area, maybe like what we used to see in Communicore. So exciting, exciting times for Epcot. So many changes coming. So Guardians of Galaxy over here in front of us. You can see the construction walls are up. Uh, Ratatouille is on the way. Skyliner Station back by France. There's going to be a Beauty and the Beast sing-along. Uh, this park is really getting a major, major overhaul in bits and pieces. And the current thinking by Disney is that those changes will be in place for the 50th anniversary in 2021. So I think Epcot's really going to be a very different park over the next few years. Carol from Lake Mary, hello to you. Terry from Connecticut. Barb from Pittsburgh. Donna says, good morning, love the weekly Disney fix. Thanks for being here for it. Caitlin says, Mrs. going to the parks. I would miss that too. All right, I can hear the cars of Test Track, so hoping that's good news. Looks like people are milling about, so we're gonna give it a go. Shelly's at the Bibbidi Bobbidi Boutique at Disney Springs. Good for you. Sounds like a fun time to spend with a daughter. Barb is going to celebrate her 25th anniversary at Disney this summertime. Good for you. Donna from Rochester. Hello. Linda from Seattle. Hello to you. All right, I'm just going to take a peek here. The standby wave, which might be a little bit hard to see on the video. 80 minutes, 8 zero. Kind of a backup that reaches all the way outside the building. All right, we're gonna give it a go. Thank you. 
Brown says, look at the empty walkway. Doug from Houston, howdy. Oh look, I parked my car. Here's where it is. That is not my vehicle, but that is a very cool vehicle. Although I don't think I'd do so well with a, a rag top. Son of all. Okay, looks like we're gonna need to hold on a minute or two before we get into the design studio. for recommendations on how you want to design the car. Although I think there's a bit of a delay in between when I speak and when I'm able to read your comments. So I may just have to make some good choices or some choices, good or not. Yvonne says, excited to get first pin. That is great. Yvonne, you are the winner of the, the spark for the shameless plug for the video. If you want a little bit of Disney magic delivered to your home every month, check out pinofthemonthclub.com. Thank you for the prompt. Paul from Boardwalk, hello to you. Don asked, am I picking up any pins today? Yes, I am. I have a shopping list of pins. One. Don from Vero Beach. Oh, Cindy. Jim from Wildwood, New Jersey. Hello to you. Michael says, what's my most cherished pin? You know, I don't know if it's, I have a hard time picking favorites for most, but one that I really like is when I bought it, uh, Castaway Key, which is an Olaf who's made out of snow instead of sand. So he's a tan color instead of white. That I think is cool. Tracy from Snowy, Minnesota, hello to you. Rivera from Universal Studios. Lucy, good morning to you from Parker, Colorado. Chris has never done test track before. Well, I'm glad you're getting a chance to check it out today. Sometimes the internet connection is a little bit flaky, so hopefully it will be good. We'll, we'll see. Christopher says, add the supercharger. Okay, let's we'll see if we can do that. Caitlin says, what is this ride about? So test track is the opportunity to design your own car and then take that car for a spin, and the car gets rated on various different uh, aspects like its efficiency, its uh, responsiveness, power. Actually, I just went on the video right now. So it's kind of fun. Bob says, good morning. Oh, you call me Dr. Hope. I, I do not have a doctorate, but thank you for the compliment. Murphy's going to be here in 2019. Good for you. Pedro from El Paso, hello to you. And it looks like the good people in Studio B are getting ready to enter. We're in Studio A. Cindy, I think, said glad I got the gimbal fixed. Yeah, me too. New gimbal, the old one is lost. But the new one's here. It's actually the very same as the last one. Susan says, I believe going to Disney gives a family good body. I think you're right. It is a good time to be able to spend together. Chris is going to be here in May. Hoping for a less crowded experience. 
Oh, Jennifer from Pennsylvania. I think Jeff is a test track fan because he's giving a woohoo. Leanne going to be here in October. Shani says Pensacola is foggy. It seems a little overcast here in Central Florida today, but a nice day. It's warm. 80 degrees, going to be up into the mid upper 80s. A little bit humid, not quite like summer humid. Antoinette has never been on test track, so a good chance to check it out. I'm hoping that the uh, internet connection holds up well. We'll see what happens. Dustin's going to be here in a month. Finally got quite a passage fast pass. Good for you. That is definitely one. Don asked, is summer busier or is Christmas busier? Uh, based on the information I have seen, the week between Christmas and New Year's is the busiest time of the year. Uh, and I say that because I have not seen any announcements of parks closing due to capacity in the summertime, but I have seen very consistent announcements of parks closing to capacity uh, between Christmas and New Year's, especially on Christmas Day and New Year's Eve, which are traditionally two of the various busiest days, very busiest days of the year. Sandra says her granddaughter is doing the intern program. Wow, that's great. Robin's going to be here in September. First, food and wine. Good time to come. Lindsay said, upper 80 sounds better than 32 degrees in Omaha, Nebraska. Yeah, I, I would I would agree with you there. I don't, don't want to trade water with you. Haley hopes to do test track in September. Kathy's going to be here on Sunday. Good for you. Linda from Baltimore. Hello to you. Betsy did the college program. Good for you. Jeffrey from rainy Chicago. Rain better than snow, I think. All right, looks like it's about time for Studio A to open up. design a car. First thing I have to do is scan my ticket. All right, I think I'm in. So are we going for the midsize, or the truck, or the compact? Uh, I'm thinking midsize. All designs begin with a line. Create the shape of your vehicle by drawing a line. Okay. So we're going to start here. This is going to be a speedster kind of car. Oops, need a little bit of headroom. And then we need to optimize. Thank goodness for computers. All right, so right now our capability is 32, efficiency is 45, responsiveness 57, power 60. Oh, yeah, we're going for power. All right, let's do some sculpting. See what we can do here to make our hot rod a little hotter. Hmm, makes it look like a whale a little bit. I don't know if I'm up for that. Okay, there we go. How about the length? We could uh, make this wider so it'll stick to the road a little better. Oh, yeah, that's good. All right, somebody's voting for a plasma burner. Let's see if we can do that. Let's see, I think the car, don't want it to be too narrow. Don't want it to look like a bicycle. Okay, Dory's voting for blue. All right, and then engine. Let's see. I don't know, oh yeah, okay, here we go. Plasma burner. 
All right, that's good. Plasma micro turbine. Yeah, I'm all about that. Okay. Let's see. Okay, time to make some changes. So somebody was suggesting blue. So let's go. That's a little more purple. It's like a silvery blue. I like that. Okay, a minute 18 to go. Face. Let's see. Give it a little bit of a smile. That's good. Let's see, wheels. Jackie says, looks awesome. Thank you. Uh, let's see what kind of wheels we got here. I think we need something pretty high tech. I don't even know what that is, but let's go for that. It's got some green next to it. That's good. Eh, actually, I don't think I like that. All right, this. There we go. Tom says, looks great. Thank you. Okay, 30 seconds to go. Let's see if there are any accessories we want to add to maybe the side. Uh, I don't know what that is. It looks like a Darth Vader breathing tube. Okay, I'm not going to go for that. How about on the front? Grill, no. Okay, some Tron-like lights. We're going to do that. All right. There it is. The incredible mobile. Kind of a silvery blue. Some lighting effects. Some crazy wheels on it. And plasma burner on the back. All right, it's about time to move on. Let's go to test it out. <laughs> Tom says it's a 67 Corvette. <laughs> it kind of has that feel, I guess. Todd, the Herb Mobile. Uh, that is a, a patented uh, title now. So, I guess copyrighted title. Maybe they'll have it at the exit waiting for me. I hope so. And I hope it's turned on and the air conditioning is cranked up. So that would be nice. Don <laughs> says it's the Herbster 2019. Actually, where I used to live, someone was running for political office. You know, everybody puts out their political signs for the mayor or whatever. And there was a person whose name, last name was Herbster. And a couple of those signs showed up in my yard. It was a little interesting. All right, it looks like everyone has cleared out of the design studio. I am the last to have done so. Well, pretty much just everybody jumped in front, but that's fine. All right, we're on our way. Have to wait a little bit to get into the load area. Holly said, vehicles always do terribly. Keep her day job. Yeah, I don't think I would give up my job to become an automotive designer either. It's not really my thing. <laughs> Betsy says needs to get ready for conference, but can't quit watching. Yeah, it's kind of a binge watch of Test Track today. So I hope I don't get you in trouble, but thanks for hanging on. Christina loves the ride. Thank you. Jerry said a good choice. Lisa from Staten Island, how's it going? Diane asks, do I have people with me or do people think I'm just talking to myself? Uh, today I am solo in the parks, and uh, I don't know what people think. They probably think I'm a little odd talking to the screen. But in this world of uh, everybody's doing selfies and all, maybe it don't look so odd anyway. Michael said, am I doing the podcast anymore? Good question. Actually, I am not. I love doing the World of Walt podcast. It was a very fun uh, adventure. I published about 130 episodes, give or take. They're still up on the website, at least for now. Uh, but I decided to make a switch away from podcasts and instead focus some of my time here on live video. So instead of recording those podcasts, I'm doing more video just like this one. So I hope that you're enjoying the change. 
I miss the podcast. It was a lot of fun. I was very thankful of the people I got to, to meet along the way, all the, uh, the kind comments and feedback I got. But now we're doing this instead. Robert is a former Imagineer. Good for you. Wow. Hey, Robert, if you would ever be uh, open to doing an article with me at the worldofwalt.com site, send me an email, info at worldofwalt.com. I would love to hear your story and share it with folks. John said, I am awesome. Thank you, John. You're awesome, too. All right, our line is moving. All right, won't be too much longer before we get to ride the Herbster 2019. Debbie says, loves the videos. Thank you, Debbie. Appreciate that. So I have a, a request for folks. Um, I, I'm getting lots of comments, which is awesome. I love it because it's a good way for me to hear what you're thinking or see what you're thinking and talk back and forth. Haven't seen too many likes and uh, or thumbs up, hearts, stuff like that. So I'm not sure if that's an issue with Facebook or if people just aren't feeling like pouncing on their phone today. So I would appreciate it if a few of you could give me a few hearts or thumbs up or whatever kind of emoji you might uh, be thinking about, just so I can see if that function is working. It makes me wonder if maybe there's some sort of hiccup going on today with Facebook Live. Dory said, notice last night the gimbal was balanced. Thank you very much. It took a while for me to figure out the balancing process. Um, and what I learned is you have to balance the gimbal so that it stays um, steady and horizontal when the gimbal is turned off. And then when the gimbal is turned on, it keeps uh, everything steady. So there's sort of a calibration process you have to go through when you first take care of the, the gimbal when you first start it up. Stephanie says the videos are awesome. Thank you very much. Leanne shared, thank you for doing that. It's a great way to get the word out. Susan said she thinks she sees my car. Arlene, three days to go. That'll be here before you know it. Fred says it is a hiccup. Okay, thank you. Karen said Facebook has been weird. Okay, thanks very much. I was uh, wondering what was going on. So I'm, I'm glad I'm getting the comments through. So thank you for those. Samantha says just gave a heart. KD says, gave a bunch, can't see him from anyone else either. Okay, thank you, I really appreciate that. Uh, made me wonder what was going on. Looks like Facebook is having a bad hair day. That happens. Jennifer says, can see lots of hearts and thumbs up. Okay, good to know. Trish said, the thumbs up is not working. Phoenix says, sees lots of hearts and likes. Huh, so it looks like it's a mixed bag. It looks like some people are seeing it, some people are not. Sandy says, loves getting the Disney fix. Thank you for being a part of it. Elizabeth says, how do you keep your battery from dying? Um, I always make sure I am fully charged. Before starting the video. All right, we're almost here. Iris gave me a bunch of hearts. Thank you for that. Tanya says, can see lots of thumbs up and hearts. Okay, thank you very much. I guess it's just me not seeing them. Looks like some people do, some people don't. All right, I have my fingers crossed that the internet is going to give us a good connection today. You don't quite know on this attraction. Um, if the internet does sort of fade out, please hang on because my experience has been that it comes back. Uh, okay, the herbster is good to go. Jack's got a constant flow of emojis. Okay, good to know. Thank you.
Trying to get buckled in. Valerie, thanks for sharing. Appreciate that. Hello. The seatbelt check is around the corner. For your safety, remain seated with your seatbelt fastened and your hands, arms, feet, and legs inside the vehicle at all times. And please supervise children. Thank you. All right, once we get going, I'll be quiet so you and everyone else can enjoy the attraction. Here we go, hang on. Automated driving technology activated. Welcome to the SIM track. We'll begin with the capability test to see how your vehicle designs perform under challenging weather and surface conditions. Monitoring road surface. Connecting to OnStar. Sim car performance data acquired. Let's see how your designs hold up now. Commencing sim car off-road and extreme weather sequence. <laughs> Capability test results displayed and verified. Now let's see how your vehicles compare when it comes to their efficiency. Scanning the car for optimal eco efficiency. Engaging eco scan for aerodynamic efficiency. Drive systems analysis. Hyperspectral imaging in progress. Calculating total enviro impact. Commencing responsiveness test. Okay, the responsiveness data is now being synchronized. Automated driving technology verified and active. Technology disengaged. Displaying responsiveness data. Here comes the final test. Energizing for power test. Power test results. SimTrack performance testing complete. This concludes your performance testing. You'll be able to see how your Chevrolet custom concept vehicle designs compared with the Sim car after you disembark. Please right. watch your step as you exit, and remember to take all your personal belongings with you. 
Be sure to check your final performance numbers in our scoring area. All right, we made it through, and it looks like the internet held up, so that's great news. Thanks for hanging in there. Carol said, awesome right? thanks for sharing. Jennifer said, with us the whole time, very good. Logan said, thanks for uh, taking me on the cruise, it was awesome. Thank you for being here. All right, let's see if I can scan my ticket. We can see any details over here. Ah, there it is. We got a 200, I think. Oh, that went away pretty fast. All right, cool. Christina says, best ride, perfect. All right, good deal. Let's walk through, see what's going on here. The rest of test track, we'll walk outside a little bit before we wrap it up for today. It looks like the Corvette is ready to take home. A little outside of my price range, but a very nice car. Got some folks taking their cars for a spin. Andrea said, thanks for sharing. You're welcome. Thank you for being here. Tom says, thanks for the ride. Thanks for coming along. Cheryl said, best ride award. Way cool. Says, Linda, thank you very much. All right, we can see some Chevy vehicles on display here. Nicely illuminated. We got some people who spent a lot of time wiping off all the fingerprints. Monica says, husband wants to know how to film in a steady way. I think that was basically the question. So I use an iPhone, just a basic iPhone 7, I think, and a gimbal. The gimbal does the stabilizing. It really helps make the uh, video a lot easier to watch. Uh, some uh, fun test track merchandise. This is a good one. Growing up fast. Stingray shirt, that's nice. All right, we'll walk out for a second before we wrap it up for today. Cindy says, thanks for taking us along. You're welcome, thanks for being here. Enjoy speaking with everyone, sharing a little bit of Disney fun. I always enjoy hearing your comments, uh, discussing things with you. All right, I think that's going to do it for today. I did want to let you know that yesterday I had the opportunity to go on the Star Wars guided tour at Disney's Hollywood Studios, courtesy of the nice folks at Disney Media Relations. So in the next uh, week or so, I will be publishing an article on that. So be sure to watch for that at worldofwalt.com. Also had a chance to go to the Star Wars Galactic Spectacular Dessert Party, which uh, gives you a really nice uh, set of dessert and food before you get a reserved viewing space for the uh, fireworks in the evening. So look for more information about those, both of those events coming up at worldofwalt.com this week. I also did a video of some of the food at the dessert party and I did a video of Spaceship Earth today so we're gonna I'm gonna post that to YouTube so if you haven't please head over to youtube.com do a search for World of Walt and subscribe I post these live videos to YouTube after the fact they also get put on Facebook but over on YouTube I'm also putting some exclusive video content so you might want to check out that channel as well okay everybody Hope you enjoyed today. I certainly enjoyed spending a little bit of it with you. Thanks, as always, for the comments, um, for the thumbs up and the likes, even though I couldn't see them, and for the shares. Share is a great way to be able to share the news uh, about these broadcasts. Leanne said last night was uh, great at Disney's Hollywood Studios. So thank you for being there for it. The fireworks and uh, the presentation were a lot of fun. 
I hope you have a great weekend and a great upcoming week. Till next time, God bless.